Good morning guys and welcome to the D-Series Cup. Um, I'm with a few mates here today and uh, yeah, we've got 16 EKs in total uh, competing in two different classes. Um, and yeah, the weather today is a bit average. Uh, we're expecting some rain in the, in the late morning, maybe early afternoon, but hopefully it's gonna be good. I'm gonna set up the car now and then we're gonna head out for a few laps. This is the official D-Series Cup sticker and the, the official placement is right there. What do you reckon? Right yeah. Like that? There we go. First session coming up. Oh, James, looking good. Weather is perfect. First session, I uh, did a 56.5, it is driving really well, and um, yeah, I had a big off. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any footage of that. I fell off the track because my tyres were just not bedded in, and uh, I yeah, went down the ditch but came back on track. Luckily, there was no damage. Um, the car's running really well, and uh, the only thing is um, just had to make some adjustments to the dampening. Uh, it was far too soft, so now I've got it on halfway on front and rear. Um, and we'll go from there. But anyways, uh, the car's feeling good. Let's get around and meet some people. All right, introducing you to the first D16 EK Civic of many here. This is James, this is EK. I can talk shit. Tell me about your car. It's 250 kilowatts. <laughs> um, what did you do recently? Tell me about what you did recently. I, uh, when I went and I bought it, it had a pink engine bay. <laughs> what are you doing? Down. Where's the one that spins? <laughs> This one, see? Bloody hell, James. <laughs> so I pulled it out. Um, you can probably still see the pink. <laughs> yeah. Pulled Deep it out, spots. painted it, um, and put a, uh, a fresh box and motor in. It's got about like 80,000 Ks on it. Yeah, nice. It's pretty, pretty tidy. Clean. No oil leaks like mine. No, yeah, no oil leaks. That's my biggest flex. Actually, it has no oil leaks. Zero, Zero oil, leaks. oil leaks. Yeah. That's that was hurt. wine, but it fixed itself. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll just double check. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 fine. This is your no quick release intake. Yes. How's it feel on track? Uh, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. I'm hoping next session I get a bit of a cleaner run. Yeah. But, uh, feels good. What's the target lap lap time today? Target is low. I want to get in the 56. Yeah. That's my target. I reckon I get it. Yeah, we'll see. I've done a 57 already, so. I've done a 57.7, seven, 
with uh, all the tyres and a tyred motor. Same as me. So. <laughs> and I don't have cheetah tyres, so. Yeah, now I do have cheetah tyres. Yeah. These Air 50s are crazy. I, um, I understand why people hate on them. They are a very fast tyre. I'm a bit worried about my so, bolts now. <laughs> You're about your bolts? Yeah. No, nah, my bolts are mine. Oh, I, I should show you guys. Uh, one of my, one of the bolts on the headers has come off. Let me see that. Right there, so uh, that's not looking good. There's a big exhaust leak and um, I'm trying to find an M8 bolt, maybe like an M8 bolt and nine, just sandwich it together. But I've had no luck so far. Then you talk about this little red heat Bought it from like northern country Queensland. Yeah. Probably about, I don't know, probably about two hours from Brisbane city. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I bought it. It was pretty rough, had roof racks on it, wasn't starting, um, super rough body on it, faded paint and a little bit of panel damage and side swipes and all that. Um, but yeah, took it back to my workshop where I work and I uh, did a nice respray on it. Every night, two weeks, all my weekends. It's a EG4 Breeze 93 model, EG4 Breeze. Um, still got, mechanically it's still completely stocked, it's nothing really too impressive to look at, but it's a bit of fun. Yeah, obviously it's got a all stock, it's just got a lovely nice uh, valve cover that I painted for it and that's about it. What's the plan for this car? So I'm selling it. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally getting it's, it's, sale. it's getting put up for sale tomorrow. Yeah. So if, if anyone's interested, hit me up. Uh, yeah. Paddle, paddle yeah. Is immaculate. Yeah. And it's obviously got, you know, the lovely uh, EK facelift kind of upgrade to the front bar of the side grills been plastic welded in. What I call it is the CGR facelift bar for the EG. Yeah. Very subtle. Very, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, brand new OEM Honda uh, EG6 slip, courtesy of JDM Yard. It's got uh, KW variant threes. I did a 59.2 the last session, so hopefully we can see a 58 today would be nice. Good job on the car. Thank you, thank Poor you. Poor sale. Poor sale, guys, so hit me up if you want it. Look guys, we did it. 55.5. I don't know what the official timing is, but I think it's pretty close. Um, yeah, the car's running really, really well. It is getting kind of hot out there, so I just called it early. I don't want to risk it, especially with that header. I'm going to run out to Bunnings now and get some bolts. I'm going to get rid of the stud and the nut and I'm just going to go for a bolt and um, bolt and nut clamp. So yeah, we're going to head to Bunnings and we can go grab 
grab that and maybe grab a feed. I've just got uh, Jeff, he's the owner of uh, My GT Garage, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a bit of a, a brief on what, what these guys do, what kind of track days they run. We are founded by three data uh, enthusiasts, data savvy enthusiasts, so we run track days here at a lot of them. So what we do is we run private track days in groups of eight. So we normally uh, work closely with car groups, enthusiasts, workshops, to get them a private experience in a controlled environment uh, with like minders. We've got instructors available as well. So if you guys want to come track with us, uh, have a chat with like like minor people, yeah, come join our track days. We've got a Facebook group as well. So yeah, updates are on there. Come join us. Yeah, make sure you, you join the Facebook group because it's really cool. Uh, the kind of content they put out there is really good. So yeah, thanks Jeff. Thanks Jonathan. And, uh, hopefully we'll be back for more. Thanks Repco. And Toyota Hilux. <laughs> no 79s in the filming of this. 79 versus Hilux. 79s. Insert clip here of Denzel saying Hilux. Which one do you want? Hilux. 79. Hey Kitty, thanks for the nut and bolts. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> Let's go Chow, but your, your exhaust fell off today. It's faster than your old one. Alright, I've just let Marcus go out in the car. We just uh, pop the bolt straight on and this is our session, so hopefully he gets a few good laps. That EG looks so good. Did you beat me? Don't tell me you've been. I'm gonna get a lap. Oh yeah. The guy hit the wall up there. Oh like, really? Off, yeah. Is he alright? I think so. Yeah. I got Sham here. Ah uh, man, he has an amazing Civic. This is probably the best sounding Civic of the whole day, and it's rowdy. <laughs> it backfires. Um, Sounds really good. And actually, you built this recently, didn't you? I uh, just built with this engine with my friend. Yeah. This one, the engine stock. Yeah. Um, just cylinder and ITB. Oh, okay. Uh, Let's I, go have I, a look at it. So tell me what you've done to the, to the engine. Um, just cylinder. Yeah. ITB. Um, D17 valve cover. Yeah. Uh, with the D17 coils. Yeah. Yeah. And the. And the Oh, cold trigger. Yeah. Cold trigger. Evil. What's inside the head? Yeah, secret. <laughs> oh, secret. Okay. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. That's okay. Everything. <laughs> I mean, it's really cool. I really love it. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, gearbox. Yeah, transmission port. Okay. What well, um? Does it have LSD? Yeah. LSD. Okay. <laughs> all the traction. How does the LSD feel? You know, yeah, it's allowed. It's you tuning uh, ring. 
Link ACU. Yeah. I saw. So which link is that? Link ACU. Okay. I'm not. Sorry, I'm not very familiar with link. And ITV. This one. Yeah. Not the uh, like uh, the latest one like uh, OBX something. This yeah. one the custom. Oh, custom. So some oh, yeah. something leaking really hard for tune. Oh, it's very hard to tune with yeah, the eighty five. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I understand. So this one last night. Last night. And yeah. tune the first first track first run. Oh, oh, so you tuned it at the track? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No wonder this morning I heard you revving it. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, so are you still running in? The tuner yeah. from, the tuner from, he tuned from Thailand. Oh, the tuner yeah. tuned it from yeah. Thailand? Yeah. 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 That's uh, incredible, dude. That's, that's so cool. So, I don't know if you guys missed that, but um, he finished putting this engine in last night. Yeah. And uh, he drove it to the track. It really wasn't running well because this morning I could hear it. Um, I guess it was kind of spluttering and it just wasn't idling properly. But they tuned it at the track. He used the uh, Internet Cafe in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for two. That's amazing. You know, that's what this is about. Eh? Yeah, anyways, thank you for showing us thank the you. car. Um, you know, this was, uh, this was a bit of a surprise to me. So I really enjoyed this kind of stuff. Yeah. I thought we'd uh, have a look at my main competitor. This is Daniel. <laughs> How do you go, buddy? Good, mate. Good. That's good. Doing? Yeah, good. Car's very fast. It's getting there. Yeah. yeah. What a time have you run today? Uh, I think so far it's uh, 55.2. Yep. I think there's a little bit more in it, so we've done a couple of little tweaks just to see if we can squeeze a little bit more out. How are you getting it? What, what kind of tweaks are you doing? Uh, just a little tweak to the dampers yeah. this time around. Yeah, I think. Unfortunately, the, so. uh, there's very little left in the tyres yeah. now. I will put up a photo and uh, Daniel's tires, AO 50s, but they are shot. Yeah. So I really have no excuse. Daniel's doing a uh, 0.3 quicker on, you know, bold AO 50s. Well, I guess it's a full slick now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty simple sort of recipe. We've done, I mean, there's eBay headers on it, but you know, everything on the car is either second hand or hand-me-downs or something like that. So yeah. So this is the D16? Oh. D16 Y5. Y5, um, yeah. yeah. So the, I think it's an S40 gearbox, so pretty long ratios, yeah. especially for the sedan. There's only one person I know of today running an S20 gearbox, and that's Kieran's car. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so that's... Uh, I would say, I'd love to have one in this, actually. But yeah. For sure. I was saying to someone that the person with the LSD will win. It is, uh, you know, these cars are so underpowered, you, you really need all the traction you can get. Um, it's really all about you know, yeah. carrying speed through the corner. Yes. Get that corner speed. Yeah. Um, this track's quite good for, for these sorts of cars. Yep. Yeah. I reckon it's got to be something like eighty percent of this track is corners. Mm. Yeah. What call all of are they? Uh, just pony shocks with eye springs. Oh yeah. Um, is that with the ground control sleeves? That used to be a very very popular recipe. It's fairly hard here as well, just to try and get that, that rotation around the place. Yeah. Everything yeah. No, great. It's good that you've been able to take some of your racing experience and just chuck it into, you know, essentially a cheap car. Yeah, I've kind of used it as a bit of a test car. Yeah. So the roll cage is just a second-hand uh, HMG that's been put in the roll cage. Yeah. I get up for 400 bucks, I think it was, from memory. Mm. And that kind of gave me an idea. I've never done a roll cage before, so it gave me an idea how to put it in my other car. Yeah. The splitter that's on the front um, is, uh, has honed brackets, which have been to me, yeah, uh, marine ply, um, some garden edging just to keep it nice and cheap. Mm. Well, now I've got all the, the tips, I'm gonna go apply that into yeah, my car. <laughs> I've got all the secrets now. Thanks for showing us. I'm all raced out, so I've got Marcus in the car, he's gonna try to set a, a better time than me. Um, yeah, so let, we'll see how it goes.
and the rain is here, but what a day we've had out at London. Every single car has done really well and everyone's very happy. So before we had plans to do a shootout, but um, because of the weather, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, if they want to go out in the wet weather, they can. People have set some pretty good lap times, so we're going to go through the data and see who's won some trophies today. Okay, guys. Firstly, thank you for coming, um, and it's uh, you know it's been a really good day. I've had a lot of fun. Just so you guys know, we're trying to plan for a second track day in uh, Pheasants Wood, so stay tuned for more details and just uh, let me know if you're interested, so I can plan ahead. Um, I've arranged a few trophies for you guys uh, and there are six trophies one is the all show trophy for the nicest well presented car there's an all show there's a no go trophy for the slowest car of the day but take it as a you know we want to encourage you to come back and do better uh, not because you're slow but because uh, we know you've got so much potential and then we've got two trophies for each class uh, what, the first place and the runners up for each class I'll let Jeff present uh, the first trophy. This is uh, Jeff from My GT Garage. Um, he arranges all these track days and uh, you know he's been really easy with working with us and we would like to come back in the future and do more track days. So uh, make sure you head on to their page and just uh, you know check out their page and join their other events because they, they run events almost every month. Almost every month. Yeah, yeah. almost every month. So um, yeah, so I'll let you present the all show trophy. Thanks for coming today, and uh, yeah, look forward to see you guys out there. Be sure to join our Facebook group. We do run track days every month. If you and your mates want to come like as a group, more than happy to do so. So just PM one of us. We'll be more than happy to help you guys out. So um, the, the All Show Trophy goes to Chris. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, Chris is... Uh, Chris's EG actually, he bought it in uh, Queensland in the middle of nowhere. It was like a barn find, but it was not a barn find because it was rough. <laughs> <laughs> so he actually spent a while like preparing the car and it's come up really good. Um, so the next award for no go is to Keon, uh, Keon Sano, uh, with a time of <laughs> a minute three seconds, but you know, a minute three seconds isn't actually that bad. Okay, so the caliber of this group, you know, we've got a lot of different like a lot, lot of different driver skill here so it's not bad at all uh, and i want to present this to you so thank you thank you for coming and we will help you uh, get better and i know you have a lot of potential so the d series cup limited class so limited class being a street tire uh, the runner-up goes to owen mitchell with a time of 57.1. Uh, this is Owen's first track day here and first track day in the EK, so not a bad effort at all. We have the limited class, the first place uh, on a street tire goes to James Clay uh, with a time of 56, 56.681 on an 88R. So very, a very good time. For the unlimited class, the runner-up trophy goes to me. <laughs> Pat myself on the back. Um, and that's with a time of 55.56, which to be honest isn't that great because I've got a cheetah tire on. Um, and uh, yeah, the last trophy for the fastest outright and also the first unlimited class, um, unlimited class first place goes to Daniel uh, with a time of 55.29 and there you go. Thank you. And um, Daniel set this on bold AO50s. So <laughs> that was a good job. Cheers, man. Yeah, cheers. I, I hope you don't mind me kind of taking for two yeah. seconds, but I just wanted to say thanks to Jonathan for organising today. Um, Greg and I have been saying for ages we wanted to see more D series at the track, and everybody's running Bs and Ks. And yeah, you know, that can be quicker and all that sort of stuff, but you know, these are a lot of fun, especially at a track like, like Ludnam. So it's really cool to see everybody out here. Mm. 
And um, I'm hoping that I see you back because I I want you guys to start taking my times away from me. Yeah. Right, cheers, mate. Thanks again. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this actually, uh, this all started as a joke between me and my mate Jonas. Um, and then after joking about it, people actually sounded interested. So, um, yeah, I hope to see you guys all in the future. Come back to our track days. Uh, and yeah, um, hope you guys have a safe drive home. Cool. Thanks for listening to my TED talk. <laughs> and that's all she wrote, guys. Um, I'm just so happy with how things went today. And I know it's a bit different to the usual video, but it's something that I wanted to do for a very long time. And I'm so glad we had you guys to support and, and also to come out and have fun. I'm really happy with the Civic. Uh, now the, the target has always been a 55 second lap time. I'm probably dreaming about a 54, but I know it is possible. I did many, many uh, mid 55s in this car. Um, so yeah, I just, I tried everything. I, I tried different dampening. I tried different lines, different gearing. Um, I tried short shifting and nothing could break past the 55.5. Um, so I'm not sure. I probably have to go back on the footage and have a look at what I can do to improve. Uh, but maybe we need a few power mods. Um, Seems like the, the D-Series love is alive and well. So maybe there's gonna be a bit more content on the Civic. Um, so yeah, let me know if you like the video. Uh, if you're interested in, in uh, round two, let me know. We do wanna to go to uh, Pheasant Wood, which is in New South Wales as well, but closer to the Victoria guys. Um, if you guys are interested in making a trip up, please let me know. That's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it.